Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I'm going to play around with some watercolor today. This is a book that I've um, been messing around with for a while. Uh, let's put this over here, I guess. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I had an idea while I was watching TV and all of a sudden I just needed to get up and come in here and paint something. I don't know why. But it happened. Oh, let's use this. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. So what I have here are, they look like marshmallows, but they're fun foam. And I bought a bag of these eons ago. And then I have these little tins that I converted from, I think, uh, I don't know what these came from. Anyway, maybe Gina sent these to me. I can't remember, but uh, Gina B. Aaron sent me a whole bunch of watercolors a little while back, and so I divided them up into greens, blues, uh, what's the other one? Yellows and reds and metallics. So I want to play with the blue and purple and see what I can get. So I was thinking that what I would like to do is not dip my paintbrush in my water, so let me move that out of the way. Here's my paint cans, uh, jars. They're from a place, a local place that has salsa that we love. They make their own salsa. And so they put it in jars and they can it, I guess, in the restaurant. And then they um, sell it in one of the local grocery stores. And we are so addicted to it. All right, so this is what I want to try to do. I have no idea if this is going to turn out or not. I don't really care. I'm just experimenting. I want to take the fun foam and squish it around in here and see if I can get it to absorb. I don't know if it's going to absorb. It's not doing so well. But I don't care. Oh, no, it's not going to work. Well, dadgummit, I thought maybe I could make it you know, squish down like a marshmallow. But it's not going to work like that. Well, stinkers. I so was hoping. Dadgummit. Well, maybe if I, it's not, I don't think it's going to work. Even if I paint it on here, I still don't think it's going to work because it beads up. Yeah. About the same results as if you smash it into the plate. Mm. Well, now you know. Cannot take this kind of fun foam and do watercolor with it with acrylic expectations. Let's put it that way. I was kind of hoping to get a better print off of it. And I don't think it's the watercolor paper. I just think it's the fact that the fun foam is not absorbing the paint the way I'd hoped it would. Well, it's all right. It was an experiment. And that's what this book was all about, is experimenting. So, that did not go the way I'd hoped. So let me clean my brush off. And let's see how much this is still wet. Yeah, it's really wet still. I don't really care. All right, so I'm going to turn this over. Now, this other thing I'm going to try is something that came from Gina B. Aaron's. Uh, this is called Pixie Spray. This says light tack repositionable adhesive for stencils. And I did get this off of Amazon. I cannot remember how much I paid for it, but I think maybe it was $10. I can't remember. So what does this say? Do I have to shake it? Always pre-test. Shake well. Yep, there you go. Hold 12 inches from stencil. Press nozzle and apply adhesive using a sweeping motion to lightly cover stencil. Let dry one minute, then press stencil to project. Reposition as needed. Before storing, hold can up, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if we can get the lid off, 
We will try. <laughs> I can't get it off. Oh yeah, yeah. Ay. All right, let me go get a stencil. All right, this is my stencil book. What do I want to do? I don't know. Oh. No, that's kind of too small. Maybe that will I don't know if that'll work. Oh, I like this one. I think this is one of the coolest stencils from the, is it the Crafters Workshop? TCW? I love this stencil. Oh, it wasn't even the package. Okay. I started saving the packages because I can never remember where these boogers come from. All right, so I have some paper here. I don't think it really matters what size the stencil. Shake well. La 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 la. Da, 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 da. 12 inches above. If I do that, I'm going to spray everything on my desk. Okay. All right, so there's that. Now it says, oh, I hate to put the lid on. I'll never get it back off again. <laughs> I'm so uncoordinated today. I don't know what my problem is. I can't seem to get anything to go right. I'm going to fan that off a tad. Just what you keyed in to see a woman fanning a stencil. Mm -mm -mm. It's riveting TV. All right, so let me turn this on the other side. I'm going to take this off of here. Oh, it is a little tacky. I'm going to position this right here, mash it down. And despite how badly this went, <laughs> I'm going to do it again. All right, so where's that paintbrush I had in my hand? Oh, here we are. All right, so what I want to do is wet the paintbrush. Then I'm going to take this and load up this. I am going to add some more water to it, though. I don't want it to be so dark. All right, so there's that. I'm going to take the paintbrush. Well, I guess you can't see this when I say that, can you? Ah. Take the paintbrush. I'm going to put it on here. And yes, it's very watery. But I'm wondering if I can't... Nope. Alright, doing that is absolutely not going to work. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to paint this with the paintbrush. And then I think what I will do after that is I will try the dryer. Dryer. <sighs> the heat gun. <laughs> Reminds me of a hair dryer. I don't know. A blow dryer. I have very short hair, so, you know. I don't always blow dry my hair. If I think I'm not going out in public, I will have the natural... You've got a bad perm look. <laughs> Which my hair looks like that if I let it get too long. I have naturally curly hair, so. All right, so this looks like this is going to work. We painted in really well. Make sure I get all the little crevices painted in. Alrighty then. I like that color. Even though it's watered down a lot, I think it looks nice. Alright, let's see if we can... You know, <laughs> let's just blow dry this first, if we can find the blow dryer. Which is under the table, because I did not plan this well. There we go. Alright, let me dry this and I'll be right back. Okay, I just gave it a little quick a little quick dry because I don't want to blow dry plastic. I just don't think that's very healthy. Look at that. That's gorgeous. All right, so it says it's repositionable. So let's do it again. Only this time, let's try some... Uh just because it's funny. 
Now uh, let's do ultramarine blue deep. So I think that's on the end here. Put that in the same place as the purple was because that'll add a little dimension to it. And oh, I like the way that looks. Can you see that? Oh, I like this. This is lovely. Just kind of smoosh it around with the paintbrush while it's wet. It doesn't have to go in every crevice, but I like for it to spread about so it overlaps the other color, which was, what was the color I used? Uh, I used bright clear violet, and I can't tell you the name of the paint, the brand of the paint. So honestly, I don't remember, and I don't think I wrote it down when I did the the stuff. All right, so you could probably take a sponge and just sponge this in. But I just wanted to see what it'd be like, just kind of go random willy-nilly with the paintbrush. Oh my goodness, you know what? I like this pixie spray. This works great. Your stencil's not moving all over hell and gone. Oh yeah. I am totally in love with the spray. All right, I'm not going to dry this one. Look at that. Oh, I like that. That's beautimus. That's Texan speak for yo. That's beautiful. All right, let me give it a quick dry. Okay, it's dried off. And but let me let me give you an observation that when you touch this, can you hear that? It is tacky. But wow, what a cool thing. I really like it. All right, so I want to fill in my white spots. So what do I need here? Just need corners. Oh, no, that's not going to go well. Okay, let's do this since I've already done that. So let's go with a green. Kind of a lime green. This is just leftover stuff in the in the daisy wheel that my friend Lisa gave to me. And I love this wheel. I love this ceramic wheel. This thing is awesome. And I use it every time I paint. Every time, Lisa. It was a thoughtful gift and a very useful one, just like the paints from Gina. All my friends send the coolest stuff. I don't get stuff that I can't use. Like wackadoo things, you know? They know what I like, and that's awesome. Okay, so there's the green on the edge. And then I'm going to let it kind of bleed into the purpley color. Violet. All right, let's give it a quick blow dry. I do like the pooling and the darker areas that it does. Some people might not like that, so you'll have to try a different way to dry it and not get the pooling. But honestly, I think it's very cool. It still is a little tacky in the places where I didn't stick it a whole lot. So let me stick this right here, and I, I think I might like to do a yellow. Let's don't dip that in there. Okay, just a little faint yellow. Nothing bright and crazy. Oh, well, that turned out not to be a good shade of yellow. <laughs> okay. Mostly a dirty green water. <laughs> well, when you experiment, you take your results and go with them. And if you don't like them, you redo them. All right, so I am going to pull this up.
All right, so let's see. I'm going to rub on it where I can feel the sticky. And I am getting, you know, how you rub off um, resist glues like rubber cement and that other glue that I'm not going to pay for. <laughs> that does the same thing as rubber cement. All right, there we go. Brush all that off. And it comes off, you know, it leaves a little smudge on your finger. It's glue. It's like spray contact glue. Rubs right off. Sort of like that, that uh, ATG gun tape. You can kind of roll it. You can rub it, and it kind of rolls over. And really, it's it comes off really easy. So now it's, except for a couple, so you can feel where you've missed spots when you rub on it. That looks cool. Oh, I like this. I don't know what else I'll do to it, but I wanted to play with that pixie spray and see... I did it once before, but I was in a hurry to do something else, and I didn't record it, and I really wasn't experimenting. I just slapped it down and used it. But I wanted to try today to use the Pixie Spray and see how it looks. I actually think the first one was the best one, and I like the green. The blue is a little blotchy, but I like the, the green. This is very faint. This is like nondescript over here because I think the most of the sticky has worn off by now. But still, it gives it a really cool look to the watercolor. See how the, the purpley one, the ultraviolet blue or whatever it is, is better? And the blue is very kind of blotchy. I think maybe my brush might have been too wet. But I really like how it looks right here. This looks great. I like that. And this in the corner. See how it looks good. And this stuff right here is very nondescript, but that's okay. I don't care. It was just an experiment. This did not go so well. <laughs> so, I want to try something else. I just feel like I was cheated out of experimentation time. All right, let me go get a sponge. All right, while the dog was barking, I blotted off the top of the stencil so I could get some of the wet off the top, and there's some that bled underneath the bottom of it. No biggie. Um, and it looks pretty cool, though. I mean, I, I think it looks neat. All right, so I'm going to take it, and I'm going to put it here. I would like a bright color. Let's try this pan with says yellows. Oh, these are lovely. Let's do some of the yellow sand and, does it say tresses? I'm not sure. My stuff has moved around in here since I put them in there, and so I'm not really sure what I'm dealing with. Sand, and I don't know where these two go. I think they fell out from someplace. All right, let's try this one. This one's called sand. And it's still a little bit sticky. So I think it's going to work fine. Just fill it in a few little places. I don't want to go total yellow. Just 
just want to kind of blot it in there. And I don't have the patience to sit here and let it dry. If I was going to bed at night and I need to test my patience, I'd have to go to bed right away, pull the covers over my head, and pretend I did not do this so I don't get up in the middle of the night and go, <laughs> All right, blow dry. All right, let's see. We'll take this off. Well, that didn't do very much. It's not what I thought it was going to do. Maybe I need a darker yellow. So I'm going to go back and blot the parts that are still wet because I don't want to fool around with them. I don't know, what do you think? That's pretty cool. This stuff is really great. I really like this. It does very well. I bet it, I bet it would do even better for acrylics. But I wanted to use this year not to do so many acrylics, but to do more water painting. And since I took a month off with purging my room and rearranging stuff and doing some knitting for charity. Decide maybe I better get back in here and do something before people forget who I am. <laughs> All right, so it's not as sticky as the last time. So you can see it's starting to make a kind of an eraser looking place. But it's not it's not bad, really. I'm very surprised at how the sticky comes off pretty well. You just rub with your fingers. All right, so this is it for my experiment using the Pixie Spray that was recommended by um, Gina B. Ahrens. And this video is for my creative year. It has no specific, like I'm not coloring with the colors it says for the month of February, March, because I think more or less I've lost that. Um, but I wanted to try this to show that it works great with watercolor. You like that abstract sort of look or you can make it be a little more exact. You'll have to be a little more careful. But I think the results are... Um, I really like them. Maybe you can doodle something on top of these or doodle inside every one of these or doodle in the white areas instead of where the colored parts are. This, I don't know what I would do with. Maybe I would do some kind of a sweeping flower or something. I don't know. But I just like the way it looks. And it was a great little experiment. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Go to my Creative Year uh, Facebook group and join the Facebook group. They have lots of cool things going on. Every day there's a different color for you to experiment with. And no, it doesn't have to be watercolor. It can be acrylics or whatever. Just go in and take a look at the list of the words. They're prompts that kind of help you if you're, you have white page phobia. You know, you're like, oh, what do I do? Just slap paint on it and then go from there. Don't even really think about what it is you're doing. I didn't really, I didn't really care. I just wanted to see how the stencil worked with the pixie spray. And I got results that are not uptight that, you know, I really like them. I'm very surprised, pleasantly surprised. Anyway, this is it for my creative year and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.